Half time here at Tallis Stadium, Shamrock Rovers won, Bohemians won, a really exciting end to end open 45 minutes, both sides with huge chances and breaking on the counter attack really really dangerously. Uh, Dylan Watts opened scoring on 6 minutes and Ross Tierney equalised on 20 minutes, a lovely little ball from Ali Coote headed in at the back post. That said, Aaron Green had a huge miss on 30 minutes, uh, just after Liam Burt had a huge miss, 5 yards in front of Alan Manis. Should both, both, te both teams should really have a second goal in this first half. That said, Rovers probably started the game better getting that early goal. Bowes equalised then, but Rovers kept on the pressure uh, up until the 30 minute mark. Bowes grew into the game a little bit more from then, had a few chances of their own. Uh, I think Rob Cornwall, Tyreek Wilson and Georgia Kelly, really, really bright for Bowes. From a Rovers point of view, they'll be disappointed with the goal they conceded, of course. Uh, Scales and Burke have been very, very good down the left wing and Danny Mander has been really positive, dropping deep, collecting the ball and finding that killer pass. Uh, Rovers have been put in once or twice and Bowes have struggled to deal with it. Rovers definitely stronger at the back, a uh, little bit stronger going forward as well, but Bowes kind of coping with the pressure so far it's anyone's game it could go either way i can't call it at the moment to be honest and um, so half time here at Tallis stadium shamrock rovers won bohemians won Bows host Derry next week and Rovers travel up to Finn Harps. But tonight, Shamrock Rovers 2, Bows 1, Rovers now unbeaten in 29 league games, a new record. Uh, and they stay top of the SSE Artricity League tonight with St. Pat's. So that's all from me, Sean O'Connor at Tallis Stadium. Shamrock Rovers 2, Bohemians 1. Thanks for watching, LOI Fan TV. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy, happy with it all. Like it, it was a um, tough, tough game, but happy with the three points mainly that was that was what we came here to do so I'm sure he's delighted yeah like it's 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 a big game for all of us but then for him he has that extra little bit that he was there last year so um, yeah, no, I'm sure he's delighted with it yeah. Delighted with the players the character the effort to get in this and, and uh, like some of our play in the first half was was of a really high standard he shows up it doesn't matter if who's again Dan, Danny shows up and he wants to be the main man and I thought him and uh, there was performances all over the pitch but I thought him and and Graham Bork or whatever standard. Well, listen, I'm going to say that I'm going to be biased, aren't I? Because we've, I think we're a little bit lucky not to come away with something, that's for sure. Uh, and I, I feel, and certainly the boys feel, that we've we're come out the wrong side of a, a harsh decision. You know, really proud of the performance and the shift that they put in tonight and how they played and the level that they played to. Um, and I suppose the, we've got to demand that from, from them going forward to make sure that that's our level, that's how we want to play. And, you, you know, we're playing against a really good side here. You know they're the champions. They they've got some really good players. They they test your organisation, um, and after the initial 20 minutes, I thought we matched them toe for toe. Uh, went head to head with them, and you know, I thought by and large we certainly des deserve something from the game. We didn't get what our performance deserved tonight.